Let's go back to where we began this whole episode, and that was this taking note of this incredibly divided time that we have in American life, this presidential election, that really is about very serious things. It's, it is hugely affected by the sense of division in the country, the sense of political bitterness, but it's also about very substantive, different views about how the American economy should evolve over time. Really, maybe more fundamental questions than we've seen in a presidential election mm -hmm. in quite some time. So President Obama, quite famously, when he came into office, uh, publicly discussed uh, his reverence for Lincoln, and he wanted to evoke the team of rivals, the right. title of Doris Kearns Goodwin's book about Lincoln, uh, this, and, the, and in the end was teased a little bit about whether he really was as Lincoln-esque as he imagined, whether he really did pull off a team of rivals. But so if you were sitting down with whoever the next president is, and, and you were going to say, as you approach now this even more divided time, uh, and you were trying to reach back to the era of Lincoln for some lessons that would have value today. What, what would you reach back to? What would you say to that new president? Well, the first thing I would do is not compare myself to Lincoln. That's the very first thing I do because that's generally a losing proposition. But what I would do is identify what the principal problem that you're going to be dealing with is. To lay it out and then I would bring into the effort to deal with that leading figures who may not agree with you. That's what the team of rivals were. You had a very conservative Edward Bates from Missouri. You had William Henry Seward, Solomon P. Chase, much more uh, liberal than Lincoln on, on the question of emancipation, for example. Bring these different voices, these, these clashing ideas in some ways to the process of dealing with what you have identified. This is what I'm going to deal with. And it is so serious that I'm going to reach out to people I know disagree with me in some ways, and as a group, we are going to find a way to make this better. That's, and in Lincoln's case, it was to put the union back together. The next president is going to face the kinds of things you said. Let send a message to the people of the United States that you're so serious that you're actually going to tolerate ideas different than those you hold yourself in an effort to find a solution. Mm -hmm.